I have decided to support as a superdelegate Barack Obama. Uh, much early on, I had endorsed uh, Senator Clinton, uh, but as a superdelegate from Georgia at the Democratic Convention uh, this summer, I would cast my vote as a superdelegate for Barack Obama. Uh, my district uh, voted uh, more than 75% uh, for Barack Obama. And I do not want to be part of any effort to do anything, not to be in tune or be in line with the people that elected me as a superdelegate. Forty-three years ago, I marched across the bridge in Selma. It was much easier than the decision that I have to make, but I had to make it. You're saying this decision was harder? March? It was much tougher. All I had to do in Selma in 1965, to put on my trench coat and my suit, my backpack, and walk and look straight ahead. Congressman, you got your head beaten in. Your face was covered with blood. But this is tougher. I'm dealing with friends, people that I, I love, people that I admire, part of my extended family. This is our moment. What is happening in America right now, it is unreal. It is unbelievable that Mr. Obama has emerged as a symbol of the hopes and dreams and aspirations of so many people. That's what we were fighting for, to create a truly interracial democracy in America where we can lay down the burden of race. I will tell uh, Senator Clinton uh, that I made a decision. It was not and should not be a reflection on her campaign, uh, on her experience and her commitment and dedication uh, to the cause of moving our country ahead and bringing our people together. But at this point, at this junction, I made a decision uh, to support Barack Obama. And what will you tell Bill Clinton, which could be a harder phone call? Well, I would say, Mr. President, uh, I hate to tell you, uh, but I must tell you that as a superdelegate, uh, I'm going to cast my vote for Senator Obama. I love you like a brother, and we'll continue to love you as a brother and a friend.